Our verse today is Exodus chapter 34 verse 29. When Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tablets of the testimony in his hand as he came down from the mountain, Moses did not know that the skin of his face shone because he had been talking with God. Moses had gone up to the mountain for God to rewrite the commandments on the new tablets of stone he had cut after he destroyed the first ones due to the sin of the golden calf. Moses was with God on the mountain for 40 days and 40 nights. That was a long time. Our verse today highlights the aftermath of the 40-day experience on the mountain. When Moses came down from the mountain, there was a transfiguration of his face. I like to look at the symbolism of this change in the face of Moses. The first thing we notice is that Moses had the two tablets of stone with the commandments written by the hand of God. Read Exodus chapter 32, 15 to 16 and chapter 34 verse 1. Moses was carrying something divine. The tablets of stone will be placed in a box and called the Ark of the Covenant and represent the visible presence of God among the people. Read Exodus chapter 40. The presence of the divine which Moses was carrying affected his being. St. Paul speaks about this experience of Moses in comparison with the ministry of Jesus. St. Paul says, Now if the ministry of death carved in letters of stone came with such glory that the Israelites could not gaze at Moses' face because of its glory, which was being brought to an end, will not the ministry of the Spirit have even more glory? 2 Corinthians chapter 3, 7-8 Paul understands that the experience of Moses' transfigured face is connected with the commandments carved on a stone that he was carrying. Is it any wonder that Moses, together with Elijah, appeared on the mountain to be with Jesus in his own transfiguration? Matthew 17 verse 2. Jesus is the new Moses with greater glory with the ministry of the Spirit. Our verse further tells us the reason why the face of Moses changed. He had been talking with God. Being in the presence of God can bring about both inner and outward transformation. The spirit of the person is already with God, but the external is also affected. Moses is an excellent example of someone whose external life affected the people he served. A great lesson for us today. Having an intimate relationship with God can transform our inner being to make us conform to the life of God as we see in Moses. That inner transformation is for the sanctification of the individual having that relationship with God. The other aspect is that that person's relationship and transformation must shine out to other people such that they can behold the glory of God radiating through us. Just as the people saw the shining face of Moses, similarly, people should see and notice a transformation in our lives as Christians, shining out to them, radiating the glory and the presence of God. Lord, make my life and our lives conform to the image of your divine Son, Jesus Christ. Shine out through us. Amen. God bless you. I wish you a lovely day.